Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the Roland P6, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. User 82,938. Well, there's a lot of other people with the name user, apparently, or you just went for the random number or something. Maybe it's your zip code. I don't know. Um, anyway, you write in and ask, uh, what do I think about the P6? Is it worth getting if I already have a 404 Mark II? And I don't know, man. Like, that's a tough one to answer only because I don't know what you would use it for or how you might consider using it. I can tell you from a size perspective that the SP404 Mark II is a good at least four or six times bigger than the P6. This thing is tiny and it does have an awful lot of features that I kind of have been wishing were on the SP404 Mark II and it is the smaller cousin and they're over here so uh, by and large though i would say things to keep in mind they both have usb-c uh, class compliant audio so you can hook it up to a computer and or another audio device that can be the host and it will work great it is really fast for that uh, it has much more limited storage for sample time and things but like for me personally i'm using it more as just a scratch pad I'm just dumping things on it or just recording like some different drum kits and something that I could go play with and just kind of have not quite in my back pocket, but I can throw it in like a knapsack and I don't worry about it too much. If like the knobs break off or something, I will, would probably replace it. The value knob here, I continue to think is going to fail me someday, but it is also hold, held out really well, but I'm just concerned like that thing breaks off and a ton of functionality is all of a sudden kaput and missing on the SP404 Mark II. Uh, I do suspect that these knobs would be much easier to replace, repair, or otherwise work with. So I would say for me, I got this more because it was something I was like, I can travel with this, and it has a lot of pretty good connectivity. I mean, we got the, we've got MIDI in and out on the back. You've got some sync. So if you're working with like a pocket operator or modular devices, I think that will probably be quite good to work with. And then we still got our input and output and the even the output supports a headset. So if you got a headset microphone, it will pick up that or the built-in microphone. So it has a, a lot of these little things that I really wish the SP404 Mark II had, the ADSR envelope being one of them <laughs> that I really wish it had. And because it's sized down, it has about a third of the effects in there. It, as I said, doesn't have as much uh, sample time. It doesn't have the um, number of patterns you can save. But if you're using it as something to just do as a scratch pad or just sample into, or I mean, the granular effects are not, um, I think they're noteworthy mostly because of the size of the device and all the other features that are in there. I don't know that's like, it's not something that will be a granular powerhouse for sure, but you can do a lot of nice things with it that you would like to do in granular as long as you don't want to get like a, like these crazy layers that are, you know, 16, 20, 32, or 100 or whatever grains. It still sounds quite nice and can do a lot of fun things. So yes, I understand that the workflow and it's a little more fiddly in some ways. I also think that the redesign, they took a lot of things that they learned from the SP404 Mark II where you're having these three button combinations. You have to remember to go do things. I'll, I don't know that there's, I haven't found any three button combinations on it yet. Mostly for things that I think would have been a three button combination have turned into push this button and another button and you end up in a sub menu to go read through. Um, and I also think it's, you know, with the extra knobs, I've talked about this at least once, maybe twice before, the extra knobs, I think, actually make a very real difference because you're not overloading so many features and functionality onto just these three knobs that you have on the SP404 Mark II, which means you have less shift of things that you have to do to get into submenus for them. The areas where you have to do hold shift down make more sense. And uh, to me, it just kind of feels like a more, uh, I would say, consistent package than... Um, what I was, I would probably would have expected for something this small. Um, that said, yeah, it, you're going to have to realize that your samples are going to be, if you want mono or if you want stereo samples at the highest sample rate, you're looking at a three second sample, but you can do up to 64 chops and at the lowest rate, I mean, you can get a, like, I think that works out to about a little less than half a second, if I remember correctly per sample. So 
I mean, you can get drum kits that are pretty powerful. And that's not even talking about getting this integrated with the software. I haven't even played with it, but I know you can adjust where the uh, sample chop points markers are and things so they don't have to be equal, which I suspect will open up a whole world of just people having like a portable little drum kit player that they can go work with. So uh, I, I hope that answers your question. Uh, I don't, uh, it's hard for me to answer if it's for you or for anybody else because I don't know how you would use it. But for me personally, this is something that I would cert I will certainly keep, and I'm interested to see how it continues to pair with other instruments. I mean, it's su super easy. I can carry it across my room and go grab samples off my uh, Triton Studio or other devices that I don't want to have to run cables across my office uh, space here to work with. And uh, I suspect, you know, having it alongside the computer, working with Ableton Live, it's, as I said, it's a smaller SP404 Mark II to some extent, but I think it'll work great. Anyway, guys, thanks for keeping asking questions. I hope that uh, helps you out. Keep making music. Keep having fun. Remember, if it sounds good, it is good. And peace.